For this second video we're going to be adding a label to our Kiwi window. Now you can see there are quite a few more steps here but some of those we could have done last time as well but I left those out to make it as simple as possible. So we're going to um, import Kiwi as a whole and then we're then going to Im import the Kiwi app in the same way that we did last time. We're then going to import the um, Kiwi label and that comes under the UIX module which is where all the graphical user interface parts go. And then we're going to do something we didn't do last time which is set the minimum version and what we're doing there is making it so that people can't try and run um, what we're writing with an earlier version and possibly get errors later on. We're then going to extend the app class in the same way that we did before. Now last time in our function we just passed, we didn't do anything. This time we're going to override the build function, which is like um, the init function that you would be getting if you were doing this in PyQt. And within that build function we're going to um, create a label, give it some text and then we're going to return that label. And that's really everything we have to do. We're then going to um, run an instance of that class and we'll see the results on the screen. So let's code this uh, window with a label then. So we need to first of all import Kiwi and then from Kiwi.app we need to import the um, app class which we're going to extend later. From kv.uix, which is where um, all the graphical user interface um, objects are, dot label, we're going to import label. And then what we're going to do here, you don't really have to put this, but it's a good idea, is we're going to um, require people to run. I'm going to put 1.9.2. Now I've only got 1.9.1 .1, and this will actually stop it from running so that you can see what happens. But it basically means you can't run this um, app unless you've got Kiwi 1.9.2 installed. So let's do class my window app. As we remember it's going to take that app part off and make the title um, of my window, just my window. And this time, rather than putting pass, we're going to overwrite the, um, the build function. Now this build function is always called um, when the app class is called. So we're going to um, make a label and now with Kiwi it's all it's got all these different attributes for the different things and we just change them. So I'm going to say well, look can you make the text attribute hello world please and that's that one and then can you return that label. Now whatever's returned from the build function becomes the root widget for the window. Now that's all we've got and then we're going to do window equals my window app and then we're going to do window dot run. Okay now it's not going to work but you'll see why it's not going to work because I've only got 1.9.1 .1. we'll change that afterwards so let's go to run label and there you go, nothing happened. It says down here, um, require this one, but I've got 1.9.1. .1. Just so you can see that working. Let's run it now. There we go, there's our window. Resizes like any old window. It's got my root widget right in the middle. It's got my title taken from there. That's all that we've got. I hope you found the video helpful. Um, do remember to subscribe. I've put a link to the code that I've used in the tutorial in the description below. Staying in field with Winfield.